father had a Randall knife. My mother gave it to him when he went on to World War II to save us all from ruin. Well, if you ever held a Randall knife, well, then you know my father well. If a better blade was ever made, it was probably forged in hell. My father was a good man. He was a lawyer by his trade. And only once did I ever see him try to misuse the blade. <laughs> it nearly cut his thumb off when he took it for a tool. To see that knife, it was made for darker things. You could not bend the rules. He let me take it camping once out on a Boy Scout jamboree. And I broke a half an inch off trying to stick it in a tree. Well, I hid it from him for a while, but that knife and he were one. And he put it in his bottom drawer without a hard word one. And there it slept and there it stayed for 20 some odd years. Sort of like Excalibur, just waiting for a tear. My father died when I was 40, and I could not find a way to cry. And not because I didn't love him, and not because I didn't try. I cried for every lesser thing, whiskey, pain, and beauty. But he deserved a better tear, and I was not quite ready. We took his ashes out to sea, poured them off the stern, threw roses in the wake of everything that we had learned. And when we got back to the house, they asked me what I wanted. Not the law books and not the watch. I need the thing that he has haunted. My hand burned for the Randall knife there in the bottom drawer. And I found a tear for my father's life and all that he stood for.